Hello and welcome, Peter here, Pilt Listener. Guys, so in today's episode we've got PlayStation 4. Not the slim, just the regular PlayStation 4, yes. Let's check it out. It should have a problem with a CD, DVD readings. So, let's check it out. Oh, did I? I didn't press anything yet. Okay, I, now I press. Get a blue light. Hopefully, it will be white. <sighs> oh, that's a weird thing. Missing one bit here. Anyway, let's switch to the. Uh, Okay, PlayStation is loading. That that's a positive thing. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. Can it connect to network? Well, of course, cannot connect to the network. Network. I'm pressing PS button on the PS controller. Okay, let's uh, add some. There is no. Okay, add a new user because I don't want to play as guest. So I don't want to go saying I'm going to do not sign in. Okay. So that's what we want to do. And now. Now, fingers crossed, it will take a disk. I will switch to the. We'll switch to this view. Let's get something. Hmm. Xbox disc is a bad idea. <laughs> I don't have it in this room. <laughs> uh, I'll pause and I'll find some audio album or DVD or Blu-ray and be right back. Okay, I can save got a lot of uh, open Susie. Uh, uh, discs, but that's not what we need. Okay. Where is the... Oh, in the Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, there is a problem with that. Okay, so we know. Uh, let's switch it off. Let's switch to the second view. Okay, let's switch it off. I'm pressing and holding button for the power and let's this quick menu I know that this is a quick menu okay only the question is why this doesn't want to go okay now it's power and now let's get up, turn off ps4 close all application and turn off let it turn off I'll put these discs back so it has a problem with the drive that's for sure now something which I really don't lo don't like that's mean 64 I think screws to be true I haven't done one of these for a long time Xboxes are more what people are bringing others so I don't remember from top of my head how to uns unscrew it so let's do first part part yes I'll cut it into uh, pieces if you watched you know and you don't want to watch how I will be disassemble it leave us a like and just go away <laughs> i will tell you more about andrew what his uh, you know like background a bit and what he's doing as an apprentice you know what what's our goal is and so on so maybe quite interesting for people who following the youtube channel but if you just came here for the repair that's a part one and look for part two should be the very next day Probably. So yeah, Andrew replied and that that's a damaged here stuff. I'm thinking, would you have more value if I would put DSLR on me? Let's try. Let's try and see if there will be a better view. Because maybe, who knows? 
maybe you can see it better. Okay, HDMI on, DSLR on, let's take off the Canon. My son is coming, so maybe he will go to my wife. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. Okay, yeah, so that's it. How about ISO? Okay, we got it. And we can see that there is a one, two screws, yes. So we need to take them out. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I need to pause. Sorry, I'm in luck. So, yeah. I was thinking about making some lives. I see that people like lives. I think I've got too big. Yeah, one size too big. Ouch. 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 That will be the, too big as well. Yes, because I took security screw as per Xbox unnecessarily. That's the right one. So, yeah. So, I'm thinking maybe I will do when I will reach 100 subscribers, maybe I will start to do some live repairs. Uh, who knows? See that this one is broken. Okay. Is there anything? See, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember all the screws where they should be. Oh, that says security screw. So you see, uh, at the back, okay, at the back, we need a security bit. So that means the inner part has a hole inside here. Yes, and then I can unscrew it. So yay, happy days. Need to remind myself because I really don't remember how I've done it. It's going off. Okay, you see that that's what it is. I just don't remember because I haven't done it for a longer time. Let's get this hard drive out. I think it was something with a bottom. Okay, let's at the bottom there are screws here, so I'll get the security again. I'll get them off. That's one. That's two. And that's the last one. Okay. From nothing. See, that's what it is. If you don't remember, you don't remember. Uh, okay. Do I have anything on the side? No, I don't see anything on the side. Do I have anything here? No, nothing here. Oh, yeah. Now it is. So I, what I've done. Okay. What I've done. So I'll switch to the second cam is I had it like that okay and what I've done it was like that and now it's out now it's fine <laughs> okay and wh where we're going is here okay that's where we're going so the other side is actually maybe not needed to open and that's good because there is a lot of screw so okay so let's get this antenna out which we don't need a security screw so no hole yeah no hole okay let's get this one the good thing is that the silverish screws are the same size yes i'll switch out this dslr because i don't see a value uh, for now with it and now we get a one screw here for the blu-ray 
Okay. One screw here for the Blu-ray. Second screw here for the Blu-ray, because that was the third screw. But that one was with the antenna, okay? Well, before... Uh, Oh, now switch off. Uh, okay. So, what do I need to do to get this one out? Well, first and foremost, let's open this one. So you pull this and then you pull this one. That's fine. Here you just pull this cable from what I remember. Yeah, I I'm right surprise surprise i'm right and now we can get one two three screws and we can take this board out but i don't remember if i need it and there are some screws underneath or just my guessing and that's it but let's let's give it a shot you'll at least know The same type of screws, okay, the same, and this one out. Okay, so now, uh, do we see anything? Here is this, oh, this is up, out, this you can pull, just pull and the daughter board will go out if you unscrew one screw here. That's your daughter board out. And that's the last, that's the last screw here for the, it's not a security screw, it's a regular as well. When it's not security screw and it's not magnetized, it's a pain, I can say. Okay. Yeah, it is a pain. But I don't see my tweezers to get it out. I don't want to leave it there, but this was magnetized. As at least that's what I remembered. So that's a good thing. Uh, and now should Blu-ray should go out. From what I remember, which I can be wrong. Okay, here is loose. Ooh, have you heard it? That was a bad one. Okay, let's try to shake it off. Nothing. Good. So let's see what's here. Well, I can't, I can't see anything. So we need to dig it deeper. So no promises that I will put it back together because there is this out, yes, and that's no fun when parts are just going out because I don't remember this from top of my head. So either I will figure it out what it is or we need to order another Blu-ray of eBay or buy some PS4 for spares with a good Blu-ray. Okay. Ooh, rollers. That's what fell off. Why it fell off, I've got no idea. It doesn't look. Like there's much to it. That just roller fell out from this thingy. 
now where this came out I got no idea hmm maybe here somewhere This is working fine. The whole mechanism. Yes, it's okay. Here, the only problem I see is with this. So, oh, again the roller. But that's okay. Roller is okay, should be okay when I put it back. But where I should put this? Huh. How to make it hunky dory again? Well, I could risk it and just put it to parts and then see you know if, if I have any luck. But because I don't know how this one works, where it should go, <laughs> then I'll struggle. Guys, I'll pause and I'll look online. Maybe I can find some schematics that I can look for this component online. And I can then understand how this is working because I don't remember from top of my head. I've got my PS4 Slim, which I could take apart you know, and then compare them to and then see where that bit was. But if anything goes wrong, you know, <laughs> on the way, then I will have my one faulty as well. Yes. Yeah? So I'd rather avoid it. That's why I will first go online, see the videos. Okay. Or see the, how you call it, see the pictures. Yes. Or some schematics. And I will try to compare it and I'll get back to you and I'll explain you exactly. And if I'll find any interesting video or, or um, schematics or something that are worth your time, I will show you here. And you meanwhile can hit the like button if that's okay. That's really helping this channel. Guys, I've got 81 subscribers. I know I had a uh, different channels where I've overcome 1000 subscribers, but you no, know, this is about genuine electronic repairs great value for you so if you spend one or two hours on watching these videos you save yourself number of days and hassles uh, when you would try to get try to get the stuff you know and learning on one second third fourth example yes and spending weeks upon weeks so you're saving a lot of time by watching these videos yes uh, so if oh, if okay is with you okay is for me thank you guys and I'm going to look for you and for myself and be right back. Okay, guys. So I've seen on the Tronics Fix video, which is titled PS4 Won't Read Discs Fix. So I'll call my video the same way so that if you would like to watch his video, you will use exactly the same title to look for it. And there is makes noise, won't accept discs written. Yes, after that. So he showed that these two should be connected together. But before I'll do it, uh, I want to first clean it up a bit because I can see a mess. So what we will do is use a bit of IPA. Yes, as always, actually, I don't use anything else. <laughs> Let's get the first roller. Okay. Because these, especially after my Nivea cream, can be just can be really not helping with with the friction needed. Yes. Oh, better. It's not that glossy anymore because it was really glossy. I don't believe that all my Nivea have done, but I would say the work over the years 
Well, this one is, you, you might not see it, but it's still glossy as well. Let's add even more isopropyl. Okay. Let's I have to use Nivea because if I'm working with IPA, it's drying my skin quicker. So when you, oh, now it's not that glossy. It's a matte. Good. Now we're happy and here only because it's occasion to clean it up. Remove the dust. Okay. Let's get it here, here. Okay, that's fine. And we can put it back together. That's it. Let's hope that nothing else will stop this dry from spinning. Is there any particular difference in between them before putting? No, they look exactly alike. Well, if that's the case, let's do the first one. Okay, we get the first one. Now this one, it goes in between these. So you, you can't put it at any angle. Let's go like on the clock. Yes, and insert it in between. When it fits, it will lock. And then you can insert this one as well. As, as well, it won't, do, it won't fit, you know, it won't fit like this you need to turn it a bit yes so go clockwise anti-clockwise up to you how you want it but that's what it is okay we've got it we've done it guys you by watching me by doing yeah so we've got everything now here we don't see anything else no so it's okay, you know, it's fine. Now which side it was? This side it was. Okay, here, nothing. Yeah, this is fine. Last stream over. Okay. Now three screws goes in. Okay, that's the second screw. That's the third one. Let's connect with the outer board and so on. And let's give it a test. Because I'm quite curious if we can, you know, if we can make it working again. Let's get this back. Let's get it. Okay, because it will be the outer board still here. That's fine. I know it was coming on to here, but I don't remember that I need to do it such magic as it was going out. Yeah, exactly simple straightforward daughter board uh, before daughter board I'll get this screw because if it would work I would have to get uh, get it back again ah, okay security screw it doesn't matter it's fine. I think it's T8 I'm not sure don't quote me but I think it's T8 no need for security screw here but well this side okay so here and there is a at the top if you will see there is a small space and there is this space needed for two pins on this side so now that's inserted that's us okay let's align it properly there was only one screw here or no two three three screws here but it's okay now let's connect this cable how you see it, you see it. Hmm. It's a bit stubborn, I can say. I, I rather lift it. <laughs> oh. 
okay went in went fine now this cable or ribbon cable or flex cable or it doesn't matter whatever you call it yes it will still do the job Now if you insert in it and it doesn't want to go in, then you can, there is this metal thingy here, which uh, on the connector which goes here, then you can just take it out just a bit and then insert it, yes, because that's a lock. So this one is just a open close, yes, so open it in this position. Oh, come on, you little monkey. Okay, good. And that just should slide. That just literally should slide in. Slide. Voila. So, should we get and risk and just... Ah, that's a... Oh, yeah, that's the wrong screwdriver. Here is just the regular PH00, I think, or something. Or similar to this, yes? You'll see it, you'll figure it out. Oh, why? One, two, I thought it's three. I want to grab it with at least one screw. At least one so it won't go anywhere. Now it's a uh, now it's a antenna time. Okay, so antenna cable should go somewhere here. Okay. Oh, like this. So we get a pin which you need to go and second on this side. Yes, two pins. One pin, two, and there is a screw. So let's get just put this one screw again just one screw and let's test it if so we can add this shield and the rest of the screws which one two are here one two are here we get a third one as well uh, and then we've got screws ah okay here is one here is a second one so that those are the all screws because we've inserted one here on the Blu-ray, then we'll be on on this. This is inserted here, here, and then it's a top. That's us. Let's get out this. Mm. Come, on. come on. Okay, we've got HDMI. Believe it or not, my lamp. <laughs> My lamp fell down. It's my fault. My lamp and my problems. Okay, let's don't cry now. No time for crying. And that's a Blu ray. So let's get it this side and let's put hard drive as well. Okay, let's put the hard drive before doing anything stupid. Which way? Okay, the uh, shorter connector, which is a power connector, and that's a SATA connector, goes closer to the outside world here. And now we need a cable. Oh. Okay, power cable. Let's get it. Oh, I throw my screw down. That's fine. Here the hard drive. I don't have a good news for the customer because this one was broken, but we can't do anything about it. We can try to glue it, but it's probably some epoxy glue would be needed. Let's switch to the PS view on the HDMI. We should see some view because we didn't touch anything else. 
No over yet. Okay. Come on, come on. Hmm. Weird. And it's a white one, so it should be seen. You can see me, but we can't see anything on the screen, which is actually suspicious, because all the inputs, everything is okay. What's going on? Let's add here a view, video capture, video capture, scat. doesn't just add it something's wrong remove okay guys you know what let's first test the disk okay because I have just here several disks where I've placed them okay I place them here if that will insert and I've got a white light here uh, then I'm positive that it's my uh, how you call it Ooh, scratchy one but it should read it still this time took it yeah so it's fine but I'm curious why there is an issue with the video signal Whereas I know it will be okay, because now it's it's 